What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. So today we are going to be talking about roadside inspections and basically the initial stop and the contact between a driver and officer that's pulling you over. Now, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. All this information is coming up next. Okay, so there are two places that a roadside inspection might happen. The first one, they might pull you over from a highway, a freeway, or from the road. Officers actually don't have to have probable cause to pull over commercial truck drivers. They can pull you over just to talk to you. Most likely, though, your roadside inspection is going to happen at a weight station. After you drive over slowly over that scale, there's going to be a display that might prompt you to pull over to the left or right or to a numbered garage. All right, this is a power tip right here. When being pulled over, remain calm. Nothing's happening. They just want to talk to you. But keep your seatbelt on and keep your hands on the steering wheel. You don't want to be fumbling around. That might make the officer nervous. It's for safety precautions. And secondly, if you're fumbling around, they might think that you're unorganized. And definitely, they will give you a level one inspection if they think you're unorganized. Okay. Now, Make sure that all your documents are ready to go. When the officer is ready to talk to you, that's when you unclick your seatbelt and you can actually have a conversation with them. They might talk to you outside or they might talk to you with your window down. Now, that's when you want to give them all your paperwork. Power tip. Make sure that all your paperwork is in a binder, a folder, or a laminate, something that's organized so that they know that you are organized and that's going to make the process more smoothly. Okay, so these are the items that the officer will ask you for. First off, they're going to ask for your driver's license. Next, they're going to ask for your vehicle registration, your proof of insurance, your shipping papers, your bill of ladings, your fuel tax registration, and your logbook or your ELD. Now, they used to ask for your DOT medical card, but they no longer ask for that paper form. But I like to have that DOT medical card paper form just in case so there's no problems. All right. You're going to have all those items in a binder ready to go so that when the officer talks to you, you just have it and you can just hand it right to him. And that's going to show that you're organized. And you know what? He might just let you go. And that's exactly what happened to me last time when I got checked last week. And I cannot stress this enough. Make sure that you have all your paperwork in a binder, something that's organized. That way they could flip through it really quickly and you could be on your way. I'm telling you the first time I ever got stopped and got a roadside inspection by an officer, I had crumpled paperwork. I had some paperwork registration that was expired. I mean, it just looked bad and I got my level one inspection and I got kicked in the butt so hard because of it. So just be organized, have it ready to go, all right? You know now by watching this, you have no excuses. Those are the items that they're going to ask you for. So just be ready. Have it ready. All right. So you've given your organized binder to the officer. I don't want you sitting there sweating bullets. Okay. I'm going to tell you exactly what the officer is thinking about and what that process is. He or she is just going to be looking over your paperwork, making sure that everything's updated and nothing's expired. And as far as your logbook or ELD goes, they're not looking for what you did the last year. They're just looking up to currently the last seven days. Sometimes they might look up to two weeks, but they really want to know in the last seven days where you were and make sure that you haven't committed any violations. That's it. Now, here's a power tip. If you're on ELD, make sure you know how to produce and display the last seven days to give to the officer. Because I had to play with mine a couple times and I didn't know how to do it. Mine was on my cell phone. So if you've been clocking in and out on your ELD 
on time and doing everything you're supposed to do. But the time of roadside inspection comes and the officer asks you for the last seven days and you're not able to display and show him or her that you basically don't have your logs and that's a big no-no and they're going to shut you down. So make sure you know how to do that. That's it, people. So basically, when you get pulled over for a roadside inspection, you're not going to be nervous because you know exactly what the officer wants. Now, last week when I got pulled over, I had my organized binder, bam, gave it to him. He just let me go. I didn't even do a level one inspection. But you know what? I ain't scared because I do my pre-trip inspection every day. As long as you do your pre-trips every day, that's all they're looking for. Make sure none's leaking. Make sure your blinkers work. Make sure your brakes work. I mean, making sure overall that you're safe and that you're not in a killing machine that can hurt other people. That's all it is. So I hope you liked the video. Hopefully you felt that it was concise. And subscribe to the channel. I mean, I'm here to give you information. And that's it, people. Have a great day. Peace.